My name is Melanie Collins and I work in the Upper Air Observations team at the Met Office. Mostly um, my work relates to the detection of lightning using our network ATGNet. I think the best way to describe the feeling that I get when I do my job is like when you have a piece of string that's really knotted up and you spend hours trying to unpick it and then the feeling of satisfaction that you get when it's finally sorted out. That's how it feels most of the time when I finally manage to solve something. So difficult and challenging, but very interesting and rewarding. Um, when I was doing my A-levels, I was getting quite interested in my maths A-level and wanted to carry on applying mathematics. So I chose to study physics so I would be able to carry on using it in my degree. And then while I was doing my degree, I mostly enjoyed doing the lab work, especially in the final year project when we got to answer questions that didn't already have answers and nobody knew whether it was a right or wrong. Um, and that's what a scientist does in their career. They answer questions that nobody knows the answer to yet. I think if I didn't work as a scientist, I would like to work as a wedding planner. <laughs> I like planning things and I like weddings. <laughs> In my free time, I like knitting and sewing um, and making things. Um, I like to watch CSI and sit in my house with my husband and my cat and keep the garden looking nice, tidy things up. <laughs> I don't actually remember doing science much when I was a child, and I think it's important for people to realise that not all scientists have been doing science since they were children. Um, I preferred to spend my free time as a child writing stories about my toys and playing with my imaginary fairies in the garden. <laughs> but I think the important thing that I had that helped me to be a scientist was a good imagination. And I think it's, it's important for children to feel that maybe because they don't enjoy taking apart you know, the household objects doesn't necessarily mean that you can't be a scientist. You need to have imagination, curiosity and determination and that's it. When I was doing my PhD, um, some of the work that I was working on related to listening to the sound that ice makes as it melts. Um, and a lot of that sound comes from bubbles that are trapped in it. So we needed to melt ice, which had bubbles trapped in. So we froze a bottle of sparkling water. And then to get it open, I had to cut the plastic. And because it had been frozen, it exploded in my face. And even the second time that I did it, I still screamed with shock. <laughs> that was quite good fun, a bit dangerous though. I really wish that someone would invent teleportation because my family live in Australia and I live 70 miles away from work so I seem to spend too much time doing long boring commutes and travel so if someone could just invent teleportation that would make my life a lot easier.